Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozark Back Roads. Once again, we're in the Back Roads uh, World Headquarters garage today. On our last video, we serviced the steering head bearings on the Ibex. Uh, since then, I've managed to get all the covers, uh, the plastics and the covers back on the bike. So since we've got the Ibex in the garage, we've been uh, servicing the bearings. I'm going to finish up with the rear swing arm uh, bearings today. Well, we've got the Ibex up on our lift. Uh, using this lift makes it a lot easier for me to get out of bed uh, in the mornings. So we're going to do it on the lift, but uh, you could do this. Uh, you don't have to have a lift to do this. You could definitely do this on the ground. It would be the same process. So stick around. We'll uh, see about servicing the swing arm bearings on our 2023 CF Moto Ibex 800T. Well, we've got the bike up on the on the uh, on the lift here. I've got my uh, scissor lift under the back of the frame here, and and I've got the rear tire just just barely touching here. First thing we need to do is is loosen this adjuster and run it forward. We'll do that on both sides and uh, loosen the axle nut, and then I'll be able to slide this wheel forward. To get this chain off, just screw the jam nut all the way back and then something like that. Now I'll do the same thing on the other side. I ran the adjuster up on the other side and loosened the nut on the end of the axle over there. I should be able to slide my, yeah, slide the wheel forward now. Grab the chain on top and bring it off over the outside of the sprocket here. Just like that. We'll just let it lay right here. So we're over on the right hand side. This is the nut that we loosened to allow us to slide our axle forward. I moved this adjuster forward on this side as well. I'm going to go ahead and remove this nut and see if I can push this axle out. I've got my wheel just barely sitting on the table, so that axle should uh, come out of there. And there we go. Set these together the way they go on. I'm going to set these aside for now. I'm going to go ahead and remove this speed sensor right here, uh, just so I don't uh, hit it with the, with the wheel as I pull it out and, and take a chance on breaking it. It's just got a, uh, a single cap screw right here that holds it on. Get this out of the way. And there we go. And then that'll just pull straight out, out of the uh, swing arm. And since we're going to be taking this swing arm off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove all these lines from the swing arm here remove the little uh, retainers here that are screwed down. Okay, so this is off. I can't damage that now. I'm going to raise my uh, the bike up a little bit and let that wheel drop down and it'll let the uh, the rotor drop out of the calip out of the brake caliper here and then we can just roll the wheel out something like that and then it should just come right out so i'm just going to leave the spacers in the wheel and everything and just set it aside this just slides onto a a, uh, a dog here on the back of the swing arm. I can just lay this aside now as well. We need to go ahead and get this cover uh, off the chain uh, gu uh, guard cover off right here. We've got a screw here and one back here. I believe there's one right here down inside right behind the chain and then there's a couple on the other side. We'll get these screws out and get this guide off or this guard off Okay, we got all of the screws out of this cover. It'll just come right off like that. 
before we can get our swing arm off, we've got to get this cover off over the front sprocket right here. And uh, we've got this lower cover here uh, sits over the bottom edge of this where there's some screws that need to come out. So I'm going to have to pull this off first to get to this cover. So we're going to have to take both of these off. This one just has two screws, one right here behind the uh, shifter and then one right up here. And this cover will come right off. So we need to get this cover off also over our sprocket. And I believe in order for this to come off, we have to remove this, uh, the shifter arm here off of the shifter. And it's got a heim joint right here. We can just take this loose Take this heim joint loose and uh, get that out of the way. There we go. So we'll get this cover off now. Looks like there's three screws on it. There's one right down here. And then there's one right, right here. If we lift the shifter up, you can see it there all right and then that will come out we've got all our covers off up here now we need to get this shock removed from the uh, a arm right or the swing arm right here we've got the one shock bolt it takes an allen uh, bit on the other end of it to hold it so we'll put my allen bit in there and then uh, see if we can get this loose oh there it goes all right i've got a uh, jack stand underneath the end of the swing arm when i take this bolt out my swing arm can just fall down, so I've got a jack stand under it here to, uh, to hold it up. So I should be able to just wiggle the arm up and down and just push that bolt out. So I got the bolt out. So now my uh, swing arm is loose from the shock. The shock is not mounted on any uh, type of a bearing. It's just got a rubber it's got a, a, a bushing with a rubber, a big giant rubber overing around it on either side to hold it in the center. And the top's the same way, so there's nothing to really service on the ends of the shock. If we get the two swing arm bolts out, the pivot bolts, there's one on either side. This is a 15 millimeter bolt, and it's gonna be pretty tight, I would say. <clears throat> yep. We're around on the other side here. Here's our other swing arm bolt. Goes into the very front of the swing arm. Let's see if we can get it broke loose. There it goes. Okay. We've got a shaft that runs between both sides of the front of the a uh, swing arm from one side to the other and it sits behind this there's a bushing right here so these plates um, that hold this bushing need to come off and then we'll be able to pull that shaft out and release that swing arm so i'm going <clears> to <throat> go ahead and take this one loose There it is. So I'm going to pull that out. It's a shaft that runs all the way through to the other side. You can see the bearings right here in our swing arm. We've exposed the bearings right here. The, these bearings run on this sleeve that we just pulled out. 
So this was in here like this and it goes all the way to the other side and the bearings on the other side, there's a sleeve just like this one that sits in from the other side that the bearings run on. So we could actually service this, uh, we can actually service this swing arm, these bearings right here. These are the only things that we need to get to. We can do that without even pulling the, the swing arm out of here. Uh, I can pack this with grease, wipe it out and pack it with grease, just like it sits. We're back over on the left side. We've got the same thing going on here. So we're going to go ahead and take this out of the way and get it off the bike. So this not only holds the foot peg, it also has the, uh, the shifter. It's on the back of it here as well. And the shaft comes all the way through flush to right here at the end of this sleeve. And this sleeve is what our bearings run on. It's the same on both sides with the, the bearings running on the sleeve here. I'm just going to feel of them and make sure there's no... Uh, groove or anything where these rollers have been and there's not it's very smooth and then again here's our bearings our needle bearings right here so this is the seal we got a seal right here we're not going to mess with that seal there's a seal just like it on the back side we're going to leave that alone as well so all i need to do now is just wipe this bearing out real good with a paper towel and uh, I'm really glad I decided to do this because these bearings, there's no grease in here. I don't know if they put some, some sort of light oil on those or what they did, but uh, they need to be greased. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to try to get all of that out that I can just with a towel on those needles, roll it around roll the needles around and keep working them back and forth here. If we can feel a groove in this, in this sleeve where these bearings have been running, if you can feel a groove, then uh, the sleeve and the bearings need to be replaced. These feel pretty good. Put them in there. They're nice and snug. There's no play. So I think they're all right, but man, they should put grease on those. Well, if you look in here, you can see there are two sets of needle bearings. There's an outer set, and then there's another set right behind it. So we've got two, two sets of bearings we're going to pack. What I'm going to do is just put this wheel bearing grease, this uh, Molly uh, high pressure wheel bearing grease. But just a good, uh, a good Molly high pressure wheel bearing grease is all you need. Well, I wouldn't get um, too worried about uh, brands and, and whatnot, but I'm going to take this and I'm going to press it down through the needles. Just start packing it down, pressing it down through the needles and working around. Press it down and turn, press it down and spin the needles and just keep pressing grease through those needles back in to, it'll go around the needles and, uh, and fill in behind them because there's a, there's a race on the, we can't see it, but on the other side of these needles down in here is a race, the other race that they run on besides that sleeve. And I'm pressing that grease down through those needles and filling that area behind the needles with grease. So uh, these bearings had no grease at all in them. Uh, they were totally dry. They might have had some light oil, possibly, but I'm not sure. I don't think they had anything from the factory. They look like they were just dry to me. And uh, I'm starting to see a little bit of, uh, you know, this bike's only got one season on it. If you look at this sleeve, you can see where those needles have been running. It wouldn't be long uh, till I'd be having uh, swing arm bearing trouble uh, running them dry like that. That was, uh, that was a failure in the factory there. They did get the, these things uh, 
lubed up when they put this swing arm on whoever's job it was to lubricate these bearings he just didn't do it on this bike they're very hard to, t to spin now they're, they've got they're packed full of grease and it makes them hard to spin that's kind of how you know when you've got them uh, packed like they should be so this sleeve that runs in here I've cleaned it so I'm gonna go ahead and grease this sleeve up before I put it back in and then this outer sleeve that fits on here uh, right here it fits over the end and uh, it runs in the seal the seal runs on this one so I'm gonna go ahead and get grease on this as well now that everything's greased I'm gonna slide this back in as far as it'll go and you can see that that went in and, and uh, now the seals running on that outer sleeve we got this side done I need to go do the exact same thing uh, I need to go do the exact same thing on the other side and then we'll see if we can get this uh, this shaft back through and uh, and tighten this swing arm back up well I got the bearings uh, packed on both sides and got my sleeves back in so I've cleaned off the shaft that runs through this sleeve it runs all the way across and ended through the other sleeve and then the the bolts that uh, that hold the swing arm actually go into this uh, into this shaft they screw right into this shaft from either end so there's one on each side and that's what the, these are the bolts that we took out so now I'm ready to try to line this uh, uh, swing arm up with the hole and then this slides through these uh, through these sleeves here and through this spacer pipe all the way across and out the sleeves on the other side so I'm going to go ahead and put a little uh, just put a little grease on this to keep it from corroding so now I'm going to see if I can line all this up and get this uh, get this shaft slid back across without pushing my sleeve out of the uh, the swing arm on the other side okay just wasn't holding my mouth right I got it slid through there I've hit the spacer on the other side of the sleeve see if we can work it on through a little bit there it went oh yeah there all right it didn't even push the sleeve out of the other side see if we can get this foot peg back on the end of this shaft there's a space in the end of this bushing that fits over this so it should be a pretty good fit and then I believe our long bolt let's see our long bolt went in the front right here and then the short bolt went in the back I'm just going to snug those for now and then we've got our big bolt here that came out of this that actually goes in the end of that shaft that we slid across it's threaded on the inside on both ends well it's tightened up just a little bit So this upper bolt we torque it to 74 uh, foot pounds and it's there and then these lower bolts will torque to um, 60 foot pounds and they're both 
They're both there at 60 foot pounds. I'll do the same thing on the other side on the other plate and that'll get our uh, swing arm uh, back in place. Once we get our swing arm bolts tight, we want to go ahead and make sure that our swing arm is nice and free, uh, smooth, up and down, no notchiness, no play back and forth. And uh, this feels really good. This is smooth. I don't feel anything there and it's tight back and forth this way. There's no play in it. I didn't really like the looks of these bearings and the sleeves are starting to get some wear on them. I may go ahead and order, uh, <clears throat> order new bearings and sleeves and replace them in these swing arms, in this swing arm, both all the bearings and the sleeves that run in the bearings. But uh, for now, we'll just go ahead and put it back together and uh, it'll take me a while to get parts. So we'll see what happens there. So back here on the, uh, the rear shock, I need to go ahead and put it back on the swing arm. See if we can get this bolt started back in here. It has to run through from the back side on this bike. There. So we'll put this on, tighten this up. And uh, I have to, I'll have to hold the uh, bolt from this side with an Allen key. This is an 18 and it will torque to 60 foot pounds. There it is, 60 foot pounds. Uh, I need to go ahead and put this cover uh, back on with the three, uh, the three screws that was on this. Um, I've also got this little cover here that came off after this goes on. It goes back on here like so. The last thing to do up here is to hook up my shifter get it back on shifter and then the two covers that's all that goes there are a chain guy a chain guard and a mud guard here back on it goes on before the wheel i don't think we can get it on afterwards it just slides in here it's got uh, three screws on this side one here one right here and one right here that's stuck in the cover i just left it in there and then there's two on the other side. What really helps here on getting the wheel on is to go ahead and take a screwdriver <clears throat> and spread your brake, uh, spread the uh, pads open, push the pistons back here on the caliper and get the, uh, the brake pads as wide as possible. That'll help us when we go to slide the uh, rotor in there. This, uh, this caliper sits on a, a block that it slides on here on the inside of the swing arm. So I'll slide this on here and then we'll get our wheel and see what we got to do to get it in there. I've got both of my uh, spacers already installed here in this wheel on both sides. Don't want to forget those. We're getting close here. I believe if I just let that down a little more, we should be able to slide our axle in. It goes in uh, from the other side. I've got a little grease on that to keep it from uh, corroding. And wanna, I want to be sure and point my, uh, my block here that the adjuster, the chain adjuster pushes on. I want it to go forward on the left side. I want to be sure it's pointing forward when I put it in. There it goes. All right. We've got our block here that goes in on this side. The dog that the adjuster pushes on goes forward. The recessed area is where the nut goes. So it'll go on like this. And then put the nut on. Go ahead and reinstall uh, the wheel sensor. There it is.
The rest of this is just loomed down with these little brackets. Goes over the brake line. This wheel speed sensor goes under, under it like that. And we've got three of these. We got two more, one right here and one up here. So yeah, we're about got it here. Uh, 66 foot pounds on this nut. We'll get our chain over here uh, adjusted and then torque that up and we've pretty well got it. Well, that's pretty much the lowdown on uh, servicing the rear swing arm, uh, the bearings there in the, in the front of the swing arm. Uh, the shock, there's no, uh, there's no shock link or anything, any bearings associated with the shock, so there's nothing to do with that. Uh, just the bearings right in the front of the swing arm. And uh, unfortunately, on my bike, there was zero grease uh, in any of the bearings in the front of the swing arm. Some rust starting to uh, get on the needle bearings there, and I did find one of the sleeves that runs in the needle bearings uh, did have some fretting uh, starting to wear where I could feel it on the sleeve. Uh, I went ahead and went through the service procedure, put it all back together. So I thought about it. Uh, it probably would have been fine. The, the wear is pretty light, but that's the start of the wear. And once it starts, uh, it doesn't stop. So I went ahead and ordered uh, new bearings and new sleeves and seals. So I'll replace those bearings uh, in that rear swing arm. I'll probably do a video uh, on just replacing the bearings. If you run into rusty uh, swing arm bearings, I'll have a video for you showing how to, how to change those uh, bearings. I appreciate you all hanging out with me, checking out a little service here on the rear swing arm on our CF Moto, our 2023 IBEX 800T. Uh, it's also known as the uh, 800 MT in the rest of the world. I invite you all to come back and see me. Uh, we'll go somewhere and do something else till I catch up with you again. Y'all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time.